This episode of Back to One is sponsored by... It's time to break the ice. Crew Jones and the rest of Rad Racing Team are celebrating the 35th anniversary of Hal Needham's ultimate 80s BMX flick, Rad, with an exclusive one-night-only event in movie theaters nationwide on October 14th. Grab your bikes and buds and get your tickets for this radical event now at fathomevents.com backslash rad. We were so in it. It was almost like a trance. Like we were just like doing it and doing it. And we didn't stop. She didn't cut. And I remember like she, at some point she said, okay, cut. And we kind of like get out of a state of trance and we're in, we're so confused. And we looked at each other in a state of sideration. We were like, what the fuck did we just do? I mean, it's like Borg and Mac and Roll. Doesn't matter if you play at, at the net or if you play at, at the end of the court. The thing is, try to put the ball one more time in the other side. There is room for everybody. Just play your game. She was thinking of something during the scene. I was thinking about something else. But the, 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 the important thing is, we were together. Filmmaker Magazine presents Back to One with Peter Rinaldi. Agathe Roussel and Vincent Landon are the stars of Julia de Carnot's new film, Titan. The New York Film Festival brought them to New York City, which is where I sat down with them for a very special conversation about their remarkable work in this film. First things first. Je suis désolé, je n'ai parlé pas français. C'est pas grave. But no problem. I, we practice our. Did English. I almost say? I almost said that. Yeah, it right? was good. No, it was good. You said that right. <laughs> and and the way I'd like to start talking about this film, the physicality that you have to do in this movie is insane. So, talk to me about the physical preparation that you both had to do. Well, yeah, we were very much prepared. Uh, in my case, for I had two to three months very intense, a very intense training, um, both with a coach uh, in in order to gain muscle, and with a dancer, who's like actually a pole dancer, but she also does like all kind of sexy uh, floor work, dancing, and um, and also stunt. So yeah, we came on set very much prepared. Um, I I don't I don't care about saying how I prepare myself to do that or that, which is something uh, not interesting. Uh, and in the old time, nobody knew how Gary Cooper or Robert Mitchum, Robert Mitchum did that or that and that, even James Dean, Marlon Brando. And since the press exists, we have ways to explain how we did that and how we did that. And I, I, I don't care first, and I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm still, I, I, I'm working now. Um, it's not. It's not the fact of going in a police station working during three months because you're going to be a policeman, or to go in a baker shop because you're going to be a baker. That's that's our kitch, kitchening. I mean, I, I don't care. Which is very important. And the question I want to answer because I like that. It's what is to be an actor or an actress. And uh, I think actors. I'm going to speak about actors. They are fascinating and at the same time, completely boring. Uh, it's, it's, it's something really crazy. There is actors who think that it's first cinema and then the family life and the private life after. I think exactly the contrary. I want to be a man. I like to go with my bicycle in Paris. I have no manager. I have no um, publisher. Uh, when I have to pay a bill I pay by myself, uh, I reserve my plane by myself. I just want to be like a gangster. I want to live in 15 minutes. If I get bored, I just get out and I stop that job. So first I want to be a man. And then after, I love to act. And, but 
when I, I, I was doing a, a movie with Claire Denis and she told me something that I really like to hear. It's actors and actresses are always right. When, some, when someone, an actor or an actress, can't do something during a scene, it's never his fault. It's because the camera is not at a good place or the dialogues are not exactly what you have to say. But actors and actresses are always right. They are like directors inside of them. And a good director is somebody who is listening a lot, his actress or his actor. Because at the end, on the poster, it will be written a film by and his name. So give me good ideas, give me everything. I will, I will make the difference what I want, what I don't want, and what I take, what I don't take. And that's fascinate me, how we work together. But if I tell you, I prepared myself, my body during two years, na 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 na, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, which is important is how I prepare my mind. Yeah. I was really afraid to play um, in a movie directed by Julia. I was afraid uh, about uh, knowing if uh, Agathe and me, we will fit together. I was afraid about um, always when we go on stage, on the set, Agathe and me, I'm sure maybe she, she's going to answer about that after. Every day, the sound guy comes to me and say, Vincent, we, we hear your heart doing like that. And I say, yeah, I'm afraid every day, every takes, and it goes worse and worse when I get older, which is mm. because I'm conscious. I yeah. know that how, it, how our job is great, fascinating, and in the same time, what, what are we talking about? It's, it's kind <laughs> yes. of the world can keep can keep going without us it's 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 a stupid job and it's a yeah 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 i know what you mean genial i know so yeah, yeah. but wait so did you like cuz this is your first feature film yeah did you sense his uh apprehension or, or what he's calling it he was scared like you must have been scared or but did you sense th this veteran actor um having this kind of um experience yeah i mean because on like while we were in the dressing room or prior or just before shooting we were just talking all the time and um i feel like we were i mean i hope i was a great support to you but he was a great support to mm -hmm. me and for him because he was really important to support me he would put like his insecurities or his fear on the side so he could be there for me which mm -hmm. was very generous of him mm -hmm. i mean yeah i couldn't i could sense it but i mean we were all like the whole crew was high on adrenaline mm -hmm. all the time because mm -hmm. we had very long days and very little time to shoot. Mm -hmm. So everyone was on adrenaline all the time. So same, my heart was beating very quick all the time. And I could, I could sense him, but I mean, him and I, from the day we met, I felt like it was kind of, I remember very clearly the day we met and we were like, like animals, like trying to like, approach each other and just, you know, see if we were coming from the same kind of breed, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it mm -hmm. worked very well in that sense, uh, which was very lucky because otherwise oh, this whole right. set would have been a nightmare. Yeah. But we, I mean, it's not only that we got along as people, it's, it's mostly that, you know, Vincent being this great actor, but also this older person to me, like he's... Uh, he was born like five days before my dad, basically. So we oh, wow. have also had this kind of relationship where he protected me and took care of me. Mm -hmm. But I, in exchange for that, I would try and give me and give him like all of the energy that I had and try to like pace him, um, you know, a little bit when he was getting super stressed out. And we we're both like, I feel like we managed to like calm each other down, give each other like energy you know, t tell each other it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Let's, let's go. Like, and we, I feel like we had a good, like, yeah, it was great. It, I, I feel like it was for the sake of the movie, our relationship was like 50% of the job. Mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. not the same fear. Let's, let's do, um, um, an example, uh, with the geo, uh, 
she was running for the first time and she was afraid. Her fear was, will I, will I get the medal, the gold medal or not? My fear is not the same. I already got the, the, the gold medal and my fear is, I, 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 am I going to keep it or not? Mm -hmm. She was afraid because it's the first time. It's everything's new. Yeah, I didn't it's, know if I was going to be it, good enough. Yeah, it's too much. Right, right. What, 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 what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. But she has a big advantage that she doesn't have anymore. She was unconscious. And when you're unconscious, when you have to jump from the plane the first time, you're afraid about jumping, but that's it. For me, you, I'm not afraid about jumping. You're right. I'm afraid to, landing. To, to leave another time my first fear. And I don't want that. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, the, it's very, very, uh, very interesting because when, when I get asked me questions about something, uh, Vincent, do uh, you think that we can do like that? And that? In my mind, I, I wanted to say to her, I get, it's, it's not the question, that, that's easy for me. I, 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 don't, don't, don't worry, I take care of you. But sometimes there is other things. I saw her going straight directly in the scene and I said, how can, can she do that? I, I, I know, I know what it is. I, I, I can't go. It's like a, mm -hmm. like a dog. You have to, to pull on his neck. Come, come. Uh, yeah. So it's, and her plus me, it was like a, what's the name of Le Relais? You know, when you run and you give, you give the, the yeah, yeah, the relay race. Yeah. 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 And so, uh, we did that all the time. And, uh, if, uh, I had, um, kind of, father's place she had a kind of a daughter's place mm -hmm. and we help mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. a lot and um it was very 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 uh difficult for us to, to do that movie because uh julia knows exactly what she wants which is yeah. fantastic yeah but you don't have time to practice you don't have time to ask questions you don't have time to 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 get better and better Sometimes you have to be good at, at, the, uh, at the first take mm. or even two takes, three takes. We have to move on. We have to move on because mm. the, she, in France, sometimes you don't have enough money to do a movie, except if you go fast. Mm -hmm. But we can't, we can't, sometimes we do one day when you guys have three or four days. So it's, we have to be very, very prepared. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that in the United States they are not prepared. They are yeah, fantastic, yeah, no, I get you. fantastic actors and actresses. But it's completely new for friends. It's like our pub fiction. It's a kind of, she's a, a so, so uh, incredible director. Yeah. And there is, I think, um, it's maybe a, a little bit exaggerated, but I think in cinema, in the French cinema now, it will have before Julia and after Julia. She's not the only one in, in the world, in France. Uh, we, we had that with Jean-Luc Godard, we had that with uh, François Truffaut, we had that with Bertrand Blier, yeah. we had that with uh, Claire Denis. Yeah. But there is directors sometimes, they, they, they arrive yeah, they in, the, in, in the job and, and they change something. Even Gaspar Noé in the same Gaspar kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. But how did you find the freedom in her restriction because there, there, there is, the, I'm responding because you, you two, uh, I'm responding to this film. Everybody's responding to this film. Like we didn't see a restriction of the performance from it's this. Just after I, I live, uh, I got <laughs> speaking a lot. But you can be sometimes more free in a jail than, than in a big field. What we need is to be uh, a cadre. I prefer to be free in, in a room and I can go everywhere I want yeah. than to be on a field and I have to walk exactly on the line. It, it depends what is free. Julia is so, um, so uh, tiny, so she, she knows exactly what she wants. Then she is okay for you if you want to do what you want because it's... it's you, you can do what you want, but in a small corridor, which is you seem that you are free, yeah. but in fact, you're not free, <laughs> but everybody's happy 
because you you seem that, that you you're free, so you're happy. You move in the corridor, and Julia is very happy because she knows that you won't go through the wall and you mm. will stay in the corridor. So it's not the same um, vision. I understand this intellectually. I don't understand how how you two did it, though. You know what I mean? I understand what he's saying about about. Well, we just didn't have a choice. It's like, <laughs> I mean, which is to be free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just didn't have a choice. That that's, that's the way it was going to be. Period. There was no negotiation possible. Yeah, yeah. So, no. I feel like as Vincent was saying, is like constraint is sometimes the best way to freedom. And I feel like in art in particular, yeah. that's absolutely right. Like if you think about the Ulipo, that's like a li literature, uh, literary uh, current in France, like from the beginning of the 20th century, mm. they worked like that. They, there was like constraints for writing and out of constraint, they wrote the most amazing poems. Mm -hmm. You know, because if mm -hmm. you have like, if you can use any word, any way you want, blah, 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 what are you going to write? Like, it's like Sh Shakespeare, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he wrote sonnets and it worked like that because there's, you know, the constraint of the, of, you know, the shape of what it was supposed to be mm -hmm. made him like count, like how many feet there was going to be in the poem and how he should, you know, build it. And constraints will help you build better. It's like, if you want to build a building, like if, if you want to build like a house, if you don't have constraint, if you don't have this special rock or this special, like, I don't know, wood floor that you want to use, what are you going to do? Like, it's kind of like, it's too much and it goes like places. And when you don't have time, this is not possible. Like, you need to have constraint. And in that sense, it was really, we were really constrained, like for sure. But it was also for me as a beginner actress, because it's different for Vincent. Um, for a beginner, it was very securing for me uh, to know yeah. that I was working with someone who knew exactly where she was going, mm -hmm. you know, because I have like, mm -hmm. am I, I'm happy about the performance that I gave, but I'm not a technical actor yet because mm -hmm. I'm just starting. So mm -hmm. I'm, I have to learn. And I learned a lot from Vincent also because he's a very much more technical actor, but I have to get more technical, but n not being so technical yet. It was really good for me to have someone that would just, that, that, that who basically said, you take my hand, you forget everything that you know, and we're just gonna move forward. Yeah. That yeah. was just the best thing. And you, yeah, but, you, you were also talking about how you had to kind of forget and let go yourself. No, but the freedom for me, it's, you know, in the life, it's the same time, it takes the same time to, to make good eggs and bad eggs. <laughs> yeah. So try to do good eggs. The freedom for me, it's the sensation uh, to, to have made a good job um, and to work with somebody who knows exactly what she wants or what he wants. And um, you can be free working very hard and very precisely. And uh, the freedom, for me, freedom is to, to go back in my house and to sleep well in the night and to say to myself, I'm happy to do what I'm doing because I choose that movie. I wanted to do it. And doesn't matter how it's, it, it works on the set. The, the most important is to go back every day with a sensation that you've made a good job. That's to be free. Yeah. Work well for me is to be free. Absolutely. Mm. To be frankly with my children is to be free. To say what I want to say at the time I want to say it to the people that I want to say it, it's to be free. And all I did in that movie is something because I was okay with. But when I had a problem for something, for any reason, uh, for one take that I think, uh, I thought that it, it was better if I was coming by that door or this door, doesn't matter the results. But the, the, the thing is, I had to say to Julia, Julia, anyway, at the end, I'm going to do as you want, but let me show you something. Mm. Then I would have said to you, mm -hmm. then after you decide, look, if I don't come by this door, but I come by this door, and, and she was like that and say, oh, okay, Vincent, show me, show me. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. can you do it again once? Just, yeah, okay. 
sold. It's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Fine. We go, we're going to do that. And sometimes she said to me, uh, Vincent, yeah, it's a good order, but I mean, no, um, I prefer that. But the fact that I, I told her I'm free. What I don't want is to go back in my house and say, oh, shit, I should have, I should have told her that. Why? Why I didn't say that at that time, at the time we were doing the things. That's the most important for me in my life. Yeah. But also, yeah. like, you know, trusting, trusting your director's vision is freedom. Because if you don't trust your director's vision, well, it's going to be hard to make a movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Can we just talk about, I mean, when I saw it, the, the first time is almost overwhelming because I'm, 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 I'm so taken by it. I had to see it again to see <laughs> to see truly what you guys really did because it was and that so that first viewing that should be a a great compliment to you that I didn't I didn't quite understand how amazing you were. Yeah. It's the second time I saw it where I'm like, "Oh my god." And so let's talk about this last scene because this last scene when I saw it last night has so many points that have to be reached emotionally through non-words from with you and with you and so many places you have to hit talk to me about what you were worried about going into that was this at the end of the shoot or was this somewhere it was else the last, yeah it was some it was not the last day but it was in the last week of shooting but this seems to be probably the most difficult part right this part in the end no it wasn't <laughs> It's, just, it's 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 uh what? it wasn't it wasn't also because we're together mm, in this right. and we, at that point on it was the last week of shooting we were like this together oh, so no it was not it was not the most difficult thing that we had to do wow. but sometimes I, sometimes i when i read the script i understand i think everything but not mainly with my brain but mostly with my heart but if i you want me to tell you the truth the real truth yeah in the morning, we, 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 we took one day to do that scene. In the morning, since the night, I don't understand one word of what I was doing. Nothing, nothing, it's nothing. And sometimes I like to be the one who doesn't understand, doesn't understand what is he doing. But nothing, even psychologically, even... Uh, uh, and I, I don't, sorry, maybe it's, it's a bad word on, on, on the radio, no. and I don't give a fuck. It's... <laughs> I like just my my question is how I move, yeah. how I do that. Yes, is that okay for my muscle? Um, do I kiss her the way I have to kiss her? Not too much, not so less. But I don't think about the character. I, I I'm I, I, it's it's too heavy for me. Yeah, it's sometimes I understand a movie one or two years after I've done it. It's not my job to understand what I'm doing. When you live like you are living now, at that time, at what, at that second, do you understand exactly what you're doing? No. You think of how you're going to move your hand, and no, you, 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 in, in fact, completely in the situation, and maybe in two days you will think about today in front of Agat and me and say, "Oh wow, I should have done that," and wow, it was a little bit cold because the air conditioner was too. Too, strong. too, too strong. But I didn't say to to put it down. And na, 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 na. Yeah. but now at that time, you 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 don't really understand what's going on. Yeah. We just we have an interview. It's the same for us when we when we when we play. You're just being present. We are complete so like a fly. We're so yeah. near of the of the of the glasses. Yeah. We don't see that just beside it's open. So we always we are so so close. But, of but, the but scene, wait, we don't answer nothing. But wait, it's it's so it, it's so complex though. What you were communi what you had to communicate. You had to communicate this stuff. This is what I don't understand. It, the film could have fallen apart in this last scene for yeah. me because 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 if I didn't believe you, why you would, you know, so many things I had to believe. I mean, I, I have to believe a lot during this movie, and I did every time. But I have to believe so much in this very condensed time here. If I don't believe in it, you don't believe in it. That, that's right. I guess oh that's yeah, right. I know. Yeah. And but so I guess it's just because of it being so clear is what you're saying. You just had to be there, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Vincent told me what, like, I don't know when exactly 
at what point of the shooting he told me that, but he was like, you know, I've, I've acted with many actresses in my life, but the reason why I love working with you, even though you're very new to the industry, I love working with you because you're present. Mm. And that's how we managed to work together so well. And that's what happened in this last scene, uh, because we were both, I don't know if you rem remember that, but when there was this one take that we did, and it was just the start of the um, giving birth um, thing. And he, I mean, we were just supposed to do the start where I scream and it's like pushing and pushing. And she was supposed to cut, but she didn't cut. Mm. And we went, we, we continued because we were so in it. It, yeah, was all, yeah. it was almost like a trance. Like we were yeah, just yeah, like yeah. doing it and doing it. And we didn't stop. She didn't cut. And we went all the way to the birth giving wow. moment. And I remember like she, at some point she said, okay, cut. And we kind of like get out of a state of trance and we're in we're so confused wow. and we looked at each other in a state of sideration we were like what the fuck did we just do because we didn't stop did and you, we knew did you feel that too vincent no but uh <laughs> but but no but it's but, but, but that's but, in way i didn't want to interrupt you but i'm just i just no no wait, wait, wait. you yeah. asked me a question <laughs> no but but during all the movie we didn't leave the set the same same um people people yeah. but i was in trance too, but another trance, but doesn't matter. There is no subtitles. We were both together. Yeah. The important is, once a director told me, I said, I have to be very, very uh, anguished, you know, very stressed by something. And I said to him, I was young, and I said to him, how can I play someone who is very stressed? And he said, I don't care, Vincent. You think about your mother, you think about your cat, who died, you think about your bills, I just don't care. What I want to see is stress. Yeah. That's your, 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 your thing. Do it in your brain, I don't care. So the thing is, she was thinking of something during the scene, I was thinking about something else, but the, the, yeah. the, impo the important thing is, we were together. I mean, it's like Borg and McEnroe. Doesn't matter if you play at, at the net, or if you play at, at the end of the court. The thing is, That's try good. to put the That's ball good. one more time in the other side. Yeah. And there is, there is room for everybody. Just play your game. If I got wants to be an actress like I am an actor, it's going to be difficult. And if I want to be an actor thinking like I got, it's going to be difficult. It's mm -hmm. just two mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. like, in the, like in, in, in the life. We're not the same. But we have a lot of um, things that we share. But we maybe sometimes we don't have the same memories. For example, she spoke to you about that scene. I didn't feel the thing the same way. But doesn't matter. We were together. I was honestly not thinking about anything. I was just thinking about... I was not thinking. That's the thing. When we're doing it, I was just not thinking. That's why I kind of get out in a state of sideration. Because I was not thinking. I don't... My brain was just out. And this is why we get to enjoy this on that level. Agathe Roussel, Vincent Landon, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, you so much. You want one more question? Go ahead. <laughs> 50 more. Back to One is a production of Filmmaker Magazine, which is a publication of The Gotham, formerly IFP. Listen to back episodes of this podcast at filmmakermagazine.com or wherever you get your podcasts.